everyone. I wanted to do a video on what we are using for spelling uh, for my fourth grader. Uh, we plan to use it next year for fifth grade as well. Um, so we are using Phonetic Zoo, which is from IEW Institute for Excellence in Writing. Now we have not used this our entire fourth grade year. Prior to this, we used um, Building Spelling Skills with Evan Moore. Previous years, we've tried um, Spelling UC and I believe Spectrum Spelling. Um, and I, I did, we didn't dislike most of them. I just didn't know that they were, um, that the information was being retained. So in January, I gave my daughter a reading assessment. Um, it's the Dora, the Diagnostic Online Reading Assessment. You can do it online. If you're interested in a separate video on the um, diagnostic test, you can get them through letsgolearn.com. But we've done both reading and math. If you're interested in a separate video on those and why I think they're really helpful, let me know and I can do that. But um, I gave her both a reading assessment and a math assessment in like first of January. And um, her reading score, or not her reading, her reading score was, was quite good, but her spelling, there's a subtest, for spelling and her spelling test, she was at a low third grade level. So I was like, all right, I should change, I should change something because she should be higher than that. Um, so I decided to try Phonetic Zoo uh, because there were several components that I thought would work well for her. So I will just tell you, spoiler alert, we've been using the program since January and we are now early May. I tested her again, um, which I also don't think you should, you normally would test again so soon. Um, I probably should have waited a couple months, but I just really wanted to see before I committed to using this again for next year um, where she was. And her spelling score, I can show you here. This is kind of hard to see, but this was her spelling score when she took it in January. And this is her spelling score now, which is the low eighth grade level. She was at a low uh, third grade level when she took it in January. So is that test 100% accurate? I don't know, I'm sure there's there's little glitches and things, but um, what I was seeing in our classroom made me think that this was working and then looking at the test results make me believe that it is also working. So um, there is a, a placement test you can take on IEW's website and she placed into level B when I was surprised because she scored, um, you know, lower on the placement test, but she, she made it into level B just barely, um, but she made it into level B. And I was honestly thinking of starting level, just doing level A, because I thought, oh, this is gonna be too hard. Um, but I talked with my friend Natasha over at Educational Roots. She also uses this, this program. She uses it in a slightly different way. So I will link, um, she's got a couple videos on it. I will link down below. Um, but she said, you know what? It, level A will be too easy. It's the same spelling rule, regardless of the level you're in. So just go with level B. So that's what we did. And it's been working really well. I'll show you a little bit of um, how we use the program, what comes with it. So you get these uh, CDs to listen to. Now we don't use the CDs because you also can get, um, once you get the CDs, they give you access to download um, the audio files on like your phone or a device. So we actually just, I put them on this, I have this one of my old phones that we use for different things in school. And so I just download them all onto here cowering beneath his cowl he began to howl and prowl while hunting for the so um, she just listens listens to them off of here um so i basically there's a cart in here that tells you how to access those digital files we access those and then we put this away so we don't use that anymore um that comes with this phonetic zoo teacher's notes this is i think it's really helpful especially in the beginning um they do go over um, kind of some of the studies behind why this program works. It's a multi-sensory approach. They're hearing it, they're seeing it, um, they're manipulating the cards once they get the words right. So this is, um, in the beginning, it's really helpful to, here we go, to read all of this. 
um, the, how they developed the program, what it's based on. Um, so all of that's really good. But then when you get into the lessons, um, it gives you kind of what the spelling rule is. This is the jingle. Now in the beginning, I was, you know, sitting down and going through this with her and trying to like, you know, do it perfectly the way you're supposed to do it. And I would read this and I would have her read it. Um, and we would, you know, talk about if there were any hints in here. And she finally said, mom, they read me this jingle like every two words on the CD. You don't need to read it to me. So from there on, she's done this 100% independently. I rarely pull out this book. I think I probably should because sometimes there's some little discussion points that might be helpful. So I should probably pull it out more often. I just don't. Um, every fifth lesson in this book um, is, they don't give you a spelling list. You're supposed to um, have your child choose their own spelling words that week. We actually just skipped that week. That's probably bad, but I don't quite understand. I mean, I understand the purpose. It, I just don't quite get, we just don't do it. <laughs> so whenever we get to a personal spelling week, we just skip that and move on to the next week. So um, the way the program works is they, here's the lesson cards here. So in level B, these are some of the words that um, they would do in this particular lesson. The whole list is on the back. So some people don't use the audio with this. If you watch Natasha's videos, she does not. She just reads her daughter um, the list of words and her daughter spells them. And then I'm not sure how she checks if her daughter just goes through the list and checks them. I'm not sure. The reason I will say that works for some people, and I know her daughter's a really good speller, I think, um, that doing it that way wouldn't work for my daughter. She very much needs that multi-sensory. She needs to hear it. She needs to hear the rule. She needs to write it. She needs that repetitiveness of it. I think that's why it works so well for her. Um, works so well in that not only is she doing well on the test, but she's remembering it after the test. So for us, we really need the whole program. She needs to listen. The way that, that it's presented on the um, audio is very good for her, even though the voice is really annoying. Um, to me, that um, process is really helpful for how she is as a learner. Um, so anyway, so the, so we have this. So basically she gets out her notebook here, which I just made from a regular old notebook. Um, these things that I've cut and pasted, do I have any more? Onto it and our binder, which I'll show you in a minute. Our, uh, it's a printable or a download you can get from IEW. Um, but basically, she sets up her um, paper. They set up their paper. They go through and they listen. They take the test. They write all their words. Then they go through and listen to the corrections. And they write down the correct spelling. And then they go back through and they check their work. So they have to get a 15, um, all 15 correct, two days in a row before they move on to the next list. Um, the way um, I th think that a lot of people do it or the way that it was maybe intended was you make this trifold like science board and you have a lot of these things that I have here, um, you put on that board and then <clears throat> every time they pass like a level, there's these little um, cards for each one has like the spelling rule on it. And then you're supposed to put them in the zoo, which is on your trifold board. I didn't have room for a trifold board and I didn't want to have it up all the time. So I just made this binder. I had some, these little Melissa and Doug sticker activity pads and we had these for the backgrounds left over. So I just used them to decorate the binder to make it look zoo-like. And then I put some of the rules from their printable on there. And then there's more. So basically, once she passes a level, she puts, she writes the uh, three main words from that spelling rule on the card and she gets to put these animals in the zoo. So there's the A cages, the I R U R barn, the E W burrow. There's all these like little locations in the zoo, the E cages. 
This was another component that kind of sold me on it because she likes stuff like that. So she enjoys putting her animals, uh, animal cards in the zoo. And then I just put these tabs on the cards so that if she wanted to later, she can come back and pull them out and see the words that she wrote. So that's that, how that works. They also give you, you're supposed to do um, like a homonym of the week, which we were just gonna write on the back. I'll be honest, we don't do those. Um, we started doing them, but they never really, to me, it never made sense with the spelling rule. They give you in the back here a list that you can use, um, but they never, I don't know, it bothered me that they didn't necessarily match the spelling rule and I thought that could be confusing, so we just stopped doing that. Um, so I think that that's everything. She does this 100% independently when I say do your spelling or she just does it. She pulls this stuff all out of her spelling pouch. I have this in there. Her notebook is in there. We have the cards. And she. this is just the, when she finishes one, those cards in there. And her pen, they recommend that you do it in pen. So that's all in her pouch. This I keep on my cart and this is um, put away in our cabinet because we don't use it. So she pulls it out. She knows how to get to the, um, audio on the phone she does it she checks it she tells me how she did and she puts it away and does it again the next day so it's been working really well I like it um, we will continue with level C whenever we finish level B um, it is uh, it's kind of expensive I think oh gosh I should look it up um, I feel like it's a hundred dollars I think it's a hundred dollars I'm gonna to try to look it up while I'm talking to you. Um, but so far it's worked great. I will use this again for my son. I would just have to buy, um, we could reuse those. I'd have to reprint the um, all this zoo stuff. All of, um, not these cards, but like this, these cards, I'm pretty sure were part of that printable that I told you about that you can get for free. Um, on their website. So the only thing I'd have to purchase again, um, I wouldn't have to purchase anything again for him, unless she was doing it at the same time then. If she was doing level C the same time he was doing level B, I'd need to purchase um, the zoo cards, I guess. Um, and probably another pack of these. But um, at any rate, let me just look up the price here. Um, I think I ordered ours off of Rainbow Resource, but I think it's recommended you just order through IEW if you have any problems. They're really good at um, helping you. So you could get, let's just look. You could get the Premier Package. This is what I should have done. Um, let's see. Or no, maybe that's what I did. Maybe it is 150 Yeah, the CDs only are $80, $79. Um, there's a budget package. Natasha talks about this in her video for $29. Okay, a uh, complete set is $99. I think the $150 is all three levels. That's what I should have done. But when I bought it, I didn't know if we were going to like it or not like it. So... <clears throat> this 150 yeah you get all three all three in this all three levels although this does not come with the cds this is just the e-audio so anyway so you have an idea of price it's a little pricey but um, my understanding is that once they get through level c that's all the spelling they need for their entire um their entire elementary and high school education. So anyway, we like it. It's been working for us. I think her test scores show a whole lot of improvement in her spelling. Um, is all of this attributed to that? I don't know, but um, I'm happy with it. So she likes it. She does it independently. It does everything I need it to do. So to me, that's a win, a win in my book. So anyway, if you have any questions, um, let me know. I know I probably sounded a little all over the place in trying to explain 
um, the components and whatnot. I will link Natasha's videos down below as well. She probably does a better job of explaining it, but this is just how we use it and how it is working for us. So let me know if you have any questions.